Come, Holy Spirit, yes. Come as a wisdom to children. Come as new sight to the blind. Come, Lord, and strengthen my weakness. Take me soul, body, and mind. Come, Holy Spirit, I need thee. Come, sweet Spirit, I pray. Come in thy strength and thy power. Come in thy own gentle way. Come as a rest to the weary. Come as a bump on the shore. Come as a dew to my dryness. Fill me with joy evermore. Come like a spring in the desert. Come to the withered of soul. Oh, let the sweet healing power touch me and make me whole. Come, Holy Spirit, I need thee. Come, sweet Spirit, I pray. Come in thy strength and thy power. Come in thine own gentle way. Come in thine own gentle way. Come, Holy Spirit, I need thee. Come, sweet Spirit, I pray. Come in thy strength and thy power. Come in thine own gentle way. Yes, come in thine own gentle way. Oh, what a message in that. If we could just have... The Holy Spirit coming, also in a gentle way, coming in strength and in power, and healing us, and filling our dryness as a dew in the morning, gets upon the flowers, uh, and refreshes them, and presses the leaves, and makes them open up. Uh, so will He refresh. Fresh our dryness with new power and strength. And he will heal all of our diseases as the Holy Spirit sweeps across us in strength and power. And as that, that due to the flowers and that rain to the flowers refreshes the flowers and the sunshine comes along and causes them to grow forward and upward and, and flower out. So will he cause our health and our strength and our vivid vigor to flower out. And so it's so powerful. It's just so powerful what the Holy Spirit does. The Holy Spirit is just like a combination of the sunshine and rain and exactly the right amounts. Oh, it takes away all the cloudiness takes away all the cloudiness and all the dreariness and then all it takes away, away all the despair and all the depression and the sense of being oppressed or depressed or, or obsessed with uh, it takes away and breaks all bad habits. Also, uh, it is now uh, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time in the United States. That is time for our lesson on effective healing. And this will be lesson number... 35. Oh, yes, and it's going to be a marvelous lesson. Yes, uh, uh, we, uh, we just uh, we just almost had finished. We just down to the last sentence or two of this revealed truth and what all, uh, how powerful that revealed truth is. And, uh, and we were getting ready to go over to the, the other one on the energy. And uh, so uh, on the healing energy. And so we'll finish that up down there where it is uh, talking about. We'll be glorified someday, said then that is the same as having it. You know, if he's promising it to happen and saying those that are called will be uh, chosen. Uh, those that are, are called will be justified. And those that are justified will be glorified. And so and he says that in his words and that. 
gives us that destiny and that tells us and that lets us know that that glorified body is coming and that no we will be glorified and so then all we have to do is begin to rejoice about it and gain that joy right now uh, because we know that his word does not come back void and his word can will not cannot will not lie so the only thing separating us then from the ultimate blessing and total joy unspeakable and full of glory are our doubts but Jesus said, be of good cheer. I have overcome these doubts. And that, that so he has. Oh, yes, come in thy strength and thy, uh, and, and thy power. Oh, yes, come in thy own gentle way and wash away all of those doubts. And let us see uh, everything that is coming our way and begin to rejoice now. And so we We'll go now to this one on healing energy. Healing energy is an all-present gift, and that's very important. We're very important. It's very important for us to understand healing as a gift, that Jesus uh, bought that upon the cross. I know some people may disagree with that, but that's just theology disagreements, but really and truly according to the word of God, you see, Jesus overcome death, hell, and the grave, and sin and sickness, and all of it. He overcome everything that is, a, that is of mortality and is of this mortal world and when he rose from the grave and when he shed his blood on Calvary, uh, paying the full cost uh, of sin and so forth. And uh, we, uh, God says over and over that I am the Lord that healeth thee. I said, I healeth all thy diseases. We'll put none of these diseases upon you when you obey my commandments. And then, uh, you know, of course, we know when we are, when we come to Jesus, then Jesus uh, takes the place in our heart and, uh, and, and writes those commandments in our heart. And we're, we have all of that in our heart by serving Jesus. And so then we overcome all of this sin, sickness, and disease. And death through Jesus, and so, and so then we know that he said, and he says, all good and perfect gifts cometh down from the Father of lights, in whom there is no shadow of turning or bearable, or shadow of turning. And they said, he will give us. How shall he not freely give us all things in Romans eight thirty two? And so we know that it's a gift. We know that it's a, it's an all present gift, and uh, healing power is completely present with us at all times and in all places and that is it is omnipresent the uh, immortal inner person being spiritual and not physical see that's the important thing to realize about that is our real person our our inner soul is not physical our soul is spiritual and so our soul is is uh becomes uh, one with christ and becomes a spiritual alongside of christ and so what is in the the physical body no longer rules the day but rather our spirit and so our spirit and our spirit really has no need of healing because it is spiritual. A spiritual, a spirit can't be healed physically because it has no physical characteristics in it. And so, by when our spirit then is brought into harmony with God, then that harmony goes forth and heals the physical body. And the power of God flows through us then also uh, to heal and, uh, and to aid in, in that. And so, we know then that I can get this all in there. No. Okay. So then we go. Okay. It is uh, omnipresent with us at all times. The immortal inner person, being spiritual and not physical, has no need of physical healing. You know, that's just a principle we learn. That's a that's a principle. First principle of this, you know, is, you know, the physical body has no need of healing. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, the spiritual body, our spirit and our soul has no need of healing. 
Moreover, it doesn't add one iota of substance to the inner man to have the physical body made well. The inner person is already immortal after all, and hence our true existence cannot be touched or diminished by sickness or any setback of the physical body. So that tells us, you know, that tells us what the state we actually are and what our, what the real reality is, is that we are really, we as a person really are are the same as our soul. Our soul is a real person and it is just temporarily captivated, maybe perhaps in something somewhat, you know, like we would call a, a physical body. Although once we, uh, once we uh, uh, are in Christ and, and once uh, our, uh, then uh, Christ becomes, uh, our soul becomes one with Christ as a part of him, then that becomes uh somewhat immune to what goes on in the physical body that becomes uh, that becomes our soul becomes the controlling factor in other words our physical body is no longer controlling us but rather the spiritual side the the soul becomes the master of the house you know and so we need to look through our soul and say, soul, as the master of the house, you know, turn to Jesus, be receptive to his healing power, let his healing power flow through your soul, and then it will indirectly affect the physical body into, to bring it into harmony with what you know unequivocally in your soul. And so that is how that works. All right, and then now and we go ahead and say, to become conscious of a healing of the body is never the true substance of healing power, but only the outward manifestation of what has already been present with us as a gift of God from the very beginning of our existence. The true substance of healing power and health is already there and will always be there, albeit for sure it may be hidden from view. And this is somewhat like the characteristic action of an ingestible cancer. So you see, you know, it may be the, we may be letting our physical body, you know, like a capsule, and it, it, yet we can digest uh, the outer part, digest, and then the inner goods that take the do the work in the body. We may be l allowing our uh, our physical body uh, that uh, we see with the physical eyes to, uh, you know, uh, be surround the soul, and we may be looking too much to it and uh, letting it. Uh, come between us and that soul, that inner being. But we can digest that out through the Holy Spirit and through Jesus and through receptivity. We will free that soul from that body and thus bring everything into harmony and healing. And so we want to pray right now that Lord Jesus, just let us see these truths by the, by the power of them and uh, the reality of them. And oh God, uh, just bless everyone with the realization of healing. And Lord, just take out every last, just root out every last vestige of cancer. Root out every last vestige of uh, lung disease, every type of COPD, every type of uh, every type of emphysema, every type of sharpness of breath. Lord, take out all COVID-19 effects of all that and all viruses and all of those respiratory infections. And dear God, we pray that you would heal people perfectly of all diabetes and heal their pancreas and their kidneys and, and oh dear God, just heal uh, people's livers, strengthen their liver and, and perfect it and, and uh, 
freedom of alcoholism and oh dear god just heal people of back pain heal them of lupus of scabies of of uh shingles and lord dear god just to heal them of all skin diseases and irritations and breakouts and lord dear god we pray right now that you would heal people of all uh all lupus you'd heal them of all uh, uh uh, things that would keep them from being ambulatory, that you would heal their bones, strengthen their bones, strengthen their cartilage, strengthen their, strengthen their joints, that they would have no arthritic pains or inflammation, no rheumatoid arthritis, and heal people of all osteoporosis and with strong, good, strong bones and make them completely ambulatory. And now we pray, dear God, that you would raise people off of the addictions to all drugs. Just raise them off of off of cocaine. Raise them out of crack. Raise them out of methamphetamine. Raise them out, out dear God, of peanut barbital. Oh, dear God, all hair and all cocaine. And all uh, freedom of all nicotine and all the alcohol, uh, alcoholism, and now we pray that you the people of uh, far above all sense of depression or oppression, or every sense of being depressed, and we ask all these things in the name of the Holy Son Jesus. Amen. Amen.